Welcome to this episode of Sykes Now Learning Hub, Introduction to LCMS Series. In this episode, we will talk about ion chromatograms. Mass spectral data can be displayed in different ways, depending on which aspect you want to view. We distinguish between the mass spectrum, the total ion chromatogram, extracted ion chromatogram, and the base peak chromatogram. Now, let's see what information you can get from the chromatograms. Each measurement point in a total ion chromatogram represents the sum of intensities of all ions that hit the detector at a given time. To give you a better idea of what this actually means, imagine watching animals running across a meadow. Because the animals are very fast and also very many, you take one photo after the other, then count the animals on it and plot their number. No matter which animals are in the photo, Each photo would represent one scan of the mass spectrometer. The number of animals on the y-axis corresponds to the number of ions in the ion chromatogram, which can also be expressed by the signal intensity. In a TIC, you can see at what time point the detector recorded more ions and when it detected fewer ions. But you do not get any information about what kind of ions they are. The extracted ion chromatogram is a similar representation to the total ion chromatogram. The difference in our examples is that although you can see all animals, you only plot one species of animal, in this case, the antelopes. That is, you electronically extract the antelopes from all the animals you have observed. So each measurement point in an XIC represents the intensity of a selected M over C value that hit the detector at a given time. An XIC is useful if you want to see at what time point a particular ion, or more precisely, a certain M over C value, was detected, and with what intensity. The base peak chromatogram monitors only the intensity of the M over C value with the highest intensity that hit the detector at a given time. Remember, the most intense ion is called the base peak. In our example, we would now record only the number of those animals that are seen with the highest quantity in each photo. Like the total ion chromatogram, the BPC also gives you an impression at what time point the detector recorded how many ions. However, you must keep in mind that each data point can be generated by a different animal type or M over C value. It mostly gives a cleaner look because you focus on only one species per scan. You can therefore obtain comprehensive, multi-dimensional information about analytes by looking at a combination of ion chromatograms and mass spectra. The chromatogram shows you how the signal intensity changes depending on the time or scan number. The mass spectrum shows you which ions were detected at certain points in time and how high the intensity of individual analytes is. Thank you for watching this episode. To view the full training course, including progress checks and a final quiz to earn a certificate, go to sykes.com. Log in today to take advantage of the highly rated training material offered in the Sykes Now Learning Hub. You can use the links below.